what's going on guys today's video is going to be another drop video i know i just did one just the other day the bowling ball drop but uh with halloween coming up and everything we've decided to do a pumpkin drop this time and uh we checked around for some pumpkins and uh, we actually uh seen walmart had some pretty big ones so uh we're gonna go by and grab five of those and uh, the plan is to start at two or three hundred feet we're not really going to try to hit anything in specific, just going to try to film it hitting the ground, see what happens, and uh, then we're going to get at least a few of them dropped from a thousand feet up and uh, see what happens. We might put a GoPro on the outside of a pumpkin or something like that, see if it'll survive. So uh, I think it'll be fine. Should make a, a pretty cool video. But for now, I am going to head out and I've got to go to Walmart, pick up those pumpkins so we can get this started. We're out here getting our getting our pumpkins. We uh, bought five of them, so uh, let's try to get the big ones. That's a good one. These are a lot bigger than the ones we've seen earlier at that other place. Way bigger. My plan is to when I drop some of these, I'm gonna stick a uh, GoPro inside it, and then see what happens when it breaks open. That's a big one. You can see we've got the pumpkins here and uh, we're just gonna spray paint them, make them look a little different. We'll leave one of them uh, just normal and then spray the rest. And uh, we'll drop them and we'll see what they do. You can see most of them are painted. That one's uh, like a gray plastic dip. This one's uh, bright orange. That's the gold which I had painted the uh, the bowling ball with. For those of you that have seen that video, got a black plastic dip. And that's just a normal pumpkin with just plain clear coat on it. Makes them look pretty cool. And I think when we uh, clear coat this orange one yet, it uh, would probably look quite a bit better. It's so shiny with that on it. They're all painted now and ready to be dropped. You can see that one's got clear on it now. It's shiny. And, uh, picked a lot of just kind of random colors of paints I had sitting around. And uh, at least in one or two of them, we're going to drill a hole and uh, put a GoPro on the inside of it and drop it so that when it hits, we can actually see it come apart from the inside. And some of the others, I'm going to try to put the GoPro on the outside or just film it you know, from the ground dropping and uh, we'll see what they do. They should basically disintegrate from a thousand feet. I don't think there's going to be much left. I've got the casing from one of my GoPros and uh, I think I'm going to try to stick in this one right here. It's a pretty big one. So uh, I'm going to try to carve a piece out right here. Just big enough for this here to fit in and uh, try to get it pushed way into the center.
I'm not very good at cutting these things. This is probably the first pumpkin I've ever cut. But you can see the hollow inside, just a big empty hole, and uh, this thing actually fits right into there. So I'm gonna put it into there, and uh, I'd like to try and wedge some of these pieces back in there to make sure it can't fall out. But uh, this should be pretty good. Throw it inside. I wanna drop it now because I might not get it back out, but it does fit, so this is the one that I have it inside, and uh, we'll see how it looks when it shatters from the inside. You can see I'm back here at the airstrip. You can see the pumpkins there. And uh, we got our late guy showing up again. He's always late. And uh, what I did this time, in order to be able to hit the center of the runway, I went on my phone here, walked down there, set different GPS points. Uh, you can see there I got that one. I got one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna keep dropping them at, uh, at one or two. Probably number two is where I drop it. That way they hopefully land at the same spot. And there's a little bit of wind, you can tell that wind sock's blowing sideways, so I may have to stay a little bit to that side of the runway. And uh, we got our two photographers over here hiding in the car. Not sure what they're trying to do. What are y'all doing in there? Okay, they're trying to tell us to go away. So anyways, I'm gonna get the gyrocopter out and uh, we'll get ready to get this video. Oh, they showed up now. There's Emma. Oh, they got us some film crew. Oh. Wow. Stunt, stunt crew. crew. Oh, man. I knew they had something good. <laughs> They've been holding this surprise. Like yesterday, they kept telling us they had something. That's good. And then we have shirts coming in, too. Yeah, we have shirts. Perfect. It should be a good day to drop these pumpkins. Uh, we're fixing to start right now. I'm ready to drop the pumpkin now. First thing I'm going to do is grab that uh, gold one right there. You see I've got the gray one here. This has a little piece that pulls out to put the GoPro in. And I'm going to start out with this one right here. I'm going to, I got a marker set out over there. It's about 300, 400 feet over there. I'm going to start at about 300 feet with this one and we're going to see where it lands and then decide from there with the next one what happens. But I got enough, enough time anyway.
here's a GoPro I'm putting in it, and uh, you, see, you see we still have the trampoline over there from the other day. You see it over there? And uh, this one here is going into the one that I cut open earlier in the video. So we'll get this one started recording. We might lose it, we might not. A little piece comes out, and uh, this thing is just going to go right into there. We'll get it, see if you can see it in there. Pretty dark in there. Either way, it's in there. I'm gonna close the little deal and we're about to head up. This is going to be the end of this video. Make sure you uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, so that we can keep on making more videos for you. And uh, make sure and let us know what you want to see in the comments. Just drop something, uh, drop a comment about what you want us to do or uh, film next. And uh, we'll try and make it happen. So uh, for now, that'll be all for today. I'll see you next time.